Hi, this is Swap, and this is going to be a Let's Install video to install XCOM Long War, one of the best mods, probably the best single mod for XCOM Enemy Unknown, available on nexusmods.com. Uh, this is a personal favorite of mine, uh, the creator Johnny Lump. Uh, help me learn to mod myself and I'm gonna be using it to run a let's play which will probably take a long time so most important thing to know is that long war is only compatible with enemy unknown patch 4 we're now on patch 6 at least um, currently as of 128 2014 the way to get it running is to you'll need two files the long war install itself which I've already downloaded here um, you can find it at the long war page under files the top file under main files long war EU and you'll need the downgrade enemy unknown to patch 4 mod which is also available on nexusmods.com uh, here you'll need the first file under main files as well uh, XCOM down P6 to P4 V2 and I've already downloaded that as well so let's go to downloads and the first thing we want to do is find XCOM down P6 to P4 you'll want to extract it with some tool like 7-zip um, you want to extract files if you extract here it'll just dump all the contents into your downloads file. So, extract files, OK, perfect. Um, now, it doesn't tell you that until you try and run it, but what it really wants you to do is to copy this to wherever your Steam, Steam apps, common folder is, into the common folder. So I'll paste it there. No, into the common folder. Paste. All right, so here we have XCOM down inside Steam, Steam apps, common. The instructions say double click on downgrade. So that's what we'll do. All right, and then we'll follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Please confirm that you have done all the below. Make sure that Steam is in online mode. Yes, the way you can check is, come on Steam, go to Steam, below change user, it should say go offline if you are already online. Understand that changing Steam to offline mode at any point during or after installation will break this mod. So, leave it online. Understand that if you fail or need to abort any time during installation, you need to redo every single step again. Okay, we're going to get it right the first time, right? Of course. Press OK to test system access. Did you receive a security alert or confirmation box of any kind during the last step? No. Allow XCOM to phone home. All right. It says read phone home instructions dot text if needed. If you have never installed a mod, then XCOM is automatically phoning home. Otherwise, if you have installed a mod, maybe you messed with your hosts file. You see it, hosts. Um, the phone home instruction says where to find your host file. See Windows System 32 drivers, etc. slash hosts. Open it with Notepad, as I have here. And if all you see are lines that have hashes in front of them, then you're good. XCOM is calling home. Uh, if you see either of these two lines shown in phone home instructions, um, anything mentioning Firaxis, then maybe you're locked out and should read the phone home instructions, like it says. It is it can call home right now. Okay, verify integrity of game cache in Steam, properties, locals tab. So, we go to our library, we find XCOM enemy unknown, right click it, properties, 
local files verify integrity of game cache is the lowest section and it'll take a second now what this is going to do is if you have any previous mods this will completely wipe them out this sets XCOM back to its vanilla format so when you do this you wipe any changes you may have made and I did this before we started just so it wouldn't take quite as long but I'm gonna pause and come back once it's done all right and now we're back validating steam files 100 percent complete all files successfully validated good steam now xcom is in its vanilla configuration okay next step step six start xcom enemy unknown exit the game when you reach the main menu press ok when done begin xcom enemy unknown One of the benefits of Long War is that the intro screen, the intro montage, is skipped completely, and you go straight to the main menu when you start the game. A nice touch. Because we've all seen that a lot. Alright, I'm at the main menu. Exit. We ignore Duke Nukem. All right, step seven, disable XCOM phone home. Read phone home instructions.txt if needed. Press OK when done. You do need it this time. So let's close everything. Phone home instructions over here. Hosts file over here. Phone home instructions, once again, in two easy steps, it tells you how to prevent XCOM from home phoning home. That's the top section. All right, it says open C Windows System 32 drivers, etc. hosts using Notepad. Add the three following lines to the bottom of the file and save. These three lines. Now, I already have the top line because it was there. So, paste. Make them separate. All right, so. The hash means that this line is completely ignored. If there's a hash in front of it, then your computer doesn't recognize it as existing. So this is just to tell us that these two lines prevent XCOM from phoning home. The lines below are copied directly from a phone home instructions. You save your changes and you're done. Press OK when done. So what you just told it to in the host files was never call that number. Step eight. Press OK to begin the downgrade process. Please note that this process is expected to take several minutes and you'll receive no status indication until it is done. So you press OK and then you wait. But you won't have to wait because I'm going to pause the video. All right, <clears throat> so downgrade including process is now complete. That took me about uh, five minutes. I just goofed off a little extra. Just a few steps left. <laughs> You must manually rename wherever your My Documents, My Games, XCOM, Enemy Unknown folder is to something else. So let's open up my folder system. Go to My Documents under Libraries, My Games, My Documents, My Games, XCOM, Enemy Unknown, right where they said it would be. I'm going to rename mine. To XCOM EU Long War. All right, that's done. Press OK when done. Start XCOM Enemy Unknown. Exit the game when you reach the main menu. So let's see. Start XCOM Enemy Unknown. I don't trust this. XCOM Enemy Unknown. Fail to start game. It's behind me. There we go. Okay, so if you 
haven't even installed longware yet. We're just downgrading the patch. Which means we have to suffer through the intro videos. All right. We seen. All right. Exit the game where you reach the main menu. Press OK when done. Optional. Copy any saved games. If you want to keep any saved games, unfortunately, Long War can't use any save games you have. So, you're just going to have to bear with and start from scratch. This was the final step. Remember to keep Steam online since offline mode will force you to start all over again. Okay, so we've successfully downgraded to patch 4 and it's time to run the Long War EXE D Steam, Steam Max, it knows exactly where my installation is. This is not the one whose name we changed. So it's in exactly where you would expect it to be. If you have the Slingshot DLC, select Slingshot DLC. If not, select Original Game. Uh, game Language, I'm installing in English. If it's Other, hmm, hopefully it works. All right, setup is ready. Installation. All right. If you read me, the readme contains critical instructions. Fortunately, the stuff we did to install, to downgrade the patch, uh, covers what XCOM needs, or what Long War needs, to stay running. Basically, it needs to be cut off from phoning home, and for you to stay in online mode. All right, so, we should be good. We'll start up XCOM again, boom, straight to the menu. Single player, you'll notice cinematic is a difficulty. And whether you, yeah, and second wave is available from the very beginning. All right, so we've successfully installed XCOM Enemy Unknown Long War. And, uh, I hope to see you on the Let's Play in the future.